Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with quick hits. Uh, we're going to get into who Michael McKinson is. He's Virgil Ortiz's next opponent. A lot of people don't know much about him. We've seen him a few times. Um, so we're going to break him down, do a little analysis on it, and I'm going to explain to you why Virgil Ortiz is absolutely going to crush this guy. Um, absolutely demolish him. But before we get into that, please share, like, and subscribe. Share uh, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, and please subscribe to our other channel as well, Texas, Texas Boxing Scene on uh, YouTube. Um, all proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery. Guys, I'm sorry, I am a lot of it feeling alone under the weather. Uh, but let's get into today's show. Michael McKinson, uh, we're going to break him down. Um, and, and again, I'm going to repeat what I said. Virgil Ortiz is absolutely going to demolish this guy. Like, Michael McKinson... He's kind of got this Nassim Hamed thing where he jumps in and out and he lunges. The problem is there's absolutely no snap on his punches. I mean, he's got no power. He doesn't even try to sit down on his punches. Obviously, he's, he's lunging all the time. Chin up in the air, hands down, chin out, right? Um, he's got lightning quick reflexes, right? Like, he can beat bad fighters. He can beat a lot of domestic level fighters. Um, he can make him look bad, but a complete offensive fighter with power, a seek and destroy guy who can box and punch like Virgil Ortiz is going to have easy work with this guy. Um, uh, you go to a uh, 3d boxing blog and I, I, I did a scouting report on him. Um, so let's get into a little bit of who Michael McKinson is. Um, I reviewed three of his fights, uh, Bernowski, Chris Congo and Louis Alberto Vernon. Um, <laughs> He's 27, 21 and 0, 59, uh, 5 foot 9. Um, and he's got a 69 inch reach. Um, he's from a fighting family. His dad's a trainer, Michael Bellingall, and his uh, younger brother, Lucas Bellingall, is also a fighter. So he's from a fighting family. Um, so l- let's get into his strengths first, right? Like, so he, he's got lightning quick reflexes. He's a tricky, unconventional southpaw. Um, he uses his quickness uh, to throw punches from a litany of different angles. Like I said, it, it, he throws punches in the same kind of lunging ways that Hamed did. Um, but he's no <laughs> he's no Hamed, to say the least. Um, you know, his entire style seems to be predicated around his awkwardness and his unpredictability. Uh, he's got a pretty quick jab, although he doesn't use it much. Um, he a lot of times he'll, he'll throw it from you know uh, he'll keep his hand down around his waist um, and, he, and he fires from there again his reflexes are good his footwork is really good he's got quick feet if you go back and watch some of his earlier fights he kind of crossed his feet he seemed to have fixed that um, he's able to stay off the ropes he's and this is against much lower level of competition. He really hasn't fought anyone of note. The best guy he's fought is Ronowski, who's best known for losing to uh, Josh Kelly. So this is not, he hasn't fought really a murderous row of fighters. Um, he uses distances as well. He, he can judge distance as well. Um, he's got an extremely wide base, right? Um, you can tell nothing. He doesn't throw anything hard. He doesn't throw any kind of fastballs. He's got an amateur style in the sense that he's just looking to score here and try to win rounds. He never puts pressure on. He never steps on the gas. He never tries to get out over match fighters. He's just content with just trying to win rounds. Um, and those are kind of his strengths. He's able to stay off the ropes. Um, again, he uses distance as well. He can, he can, he, he, he can, he knows when you're in punching range and when you're not. Those are his strengths. His weaknesses are, are just glaring. Like I said, his chin is out. He lunges. Um, 
It, there's no power on it. So you can just sit there. He's he scores some knockdowns. Um uh, uh, getting guys off balance, right? Virgil Ortiz is not gonna be off balance. Virgil Ortiz is fundamentally pretty perfect. Um, he, he's not going to catch Ortiz coming in. He's not going to catch Ortiz, uh, you know, or, uh, you know, falling asleep or off balance. There's not much he's going to be able to do. You know, I, I talked to Eddie Hearn at the, at the Ben Rodriguez fight. He said, McKenzie's going to give him trouble. No, he's not. And first of all, he's going to catch this guy coming in and lunging, and it's going to be over. Like, this guy is a, a, a posterizing Highlight knockout waiting to happen the way he lunges in. And it's not like Hamed where if he hits you, you're in trouble. If he hits you, so what? Just stand there and counter him. He's not going to hurt you. He can't hurt you. He's not even looking to hurt you. He doesn't go to the body at all. Right, Everything's to the head. Um, It's mostly one punch at a time. Right? He very rarely throws combination. He'll... Flick a jab, move around, flick a jab, move around. And he throws a sweeping right hand, which is quick, but he telegraphs. Like, he shows it. You know it's coming. Um, a good fighter's going to counter it. A bad fighter's going to get hit by it. But even if the bad fighter gets hit by it, and there's nothing on it. And there's You know, it's such an amateur style where he's just looking to try to win a round. You know, um, and I don't think he's going to win any rounds with Virgil Ortiz, but let's say he wins the first one. He's going to get knocked out in the next couple of rounds, right? Like, it's just not a winning style. Or Ortiz is going to sit down. He's going to come forward. He, he's going to walk this guy down, and he's going to hit him with a right hand. He's going to hit him with a left hook, and it's going to be over. Because he, he does, McKinson is so flawed in what he does. He does seem to have a good gas tank. Right, like he, McKinnon doesn't throw a lot of shots. When he throws shots, he kind of throws them in a burst. Uh, he'll throw, you know, a jab, then he'll move around with a right hand, throw a double jab, and then he won't throw anything for. He'll keep his hands in his in his pockets. Um, like I said, his footwork is good. He can pivot and get out of the way of things, but he lunges in. So it's like, well, he'll just get hit then. There's there's too many flaws with this guy, and you'll see him just. Start winging shots, but there's nothing on the shots because he's not sitting down on it, right? He's not sitting down, turning his punches over, committing to shots. He's just kind of winging them. It's like, well, that's not going to work because a counter puncher like Virgil Ortiz is just going <laughs> to is just going to sit in and and counter you and and you know hit you with a, a left hook and that's not going to work. Or hit you with a, you know he's a southpaw, hit him with a straight right hand. It's just going to be night night. Um. Like I said, he he's predicated upon his awkwardness and fighting overmatched fighters who can't really respond to that. He's fighting Virgil Ortiz. Virgil Ortiz is patient. He's gonna sit in and he's gonna take his head off. Like this isn't even a good fight. McKinson's got a quick jab, but again, he doesn't double it up, so he's not gonna be able to keep Ortiz off of him. Now I have seen him fight an outmatched level of fighter, and he barely got pit past Chris Congo. Um, I don't know, and he can keep those guys off him. Can he keep Ortiz off of him? He uses the ring well, but can Ortiz cut the ring off on him? Can Ortiz trap him? You know, like, this is a, 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 the answer to that I think is going to be yes. Um, if you see McKinson in his last couple of fights, he, he has kind of established he's able to not just fight off the back, but he's able to fight coming forward a little bit. Um, and he's actually done some of his best work in that, in the Ronowski fight. Um, and uh, the Congo fight. But he's not going to stand in with Virgil Ortiz because he has absolutely no power. Um, I, I don't see any way, shape, or form where this fight's even competitive. I don't see any way, shape, or form that he doesn't get posterized, like embarrassed with a knockout here. Like Virgil Ortiz is absolutely going to demolish this guy. Uh, I'm going to put some links into some of his fights so you can um, see what I'm looking at. But if you have this, I'll just go back and look at me. He fought at Eddie's Garden this summer. Uh, that fight camp thing. He's been on a couple. He was on an MTK Global card. Um, he, he's been he's been on a couple of the zone cards. Like he, he, there's footage on him out there. Like you, you guys have probably seen him, but you weren't impressed by him. Um, he's got good feet, but he's got happy feet. He's he, he's first of all, Ortiz is going to demolish this guy. He's going to catch him coming in on one of these lunges, or, or, or he's going to get caught in an exchange because he's got no pot. There's no way 
that he can a avoid Virgil Ortiz catching him when he lunges in, and b keep Virgil Ortiz off of him because he's got no power. You can't run from a guy like Virgil Ortiz for twelve hours. It's like the exact wrong game plan to fight Canelo is to try to fight him off the back foot and run from him for twelve rounds. Like he's too good. He's gonna get in and he's gonna beat you down. And this is gonna be over quick. I, I say Virgil Ortiz in four, maybe three. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. We're protect this boxing scene on YouTube as well. Uh, please subscribe to that channel. Quick hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Keep you updated on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.